Hi guys, my name is Ashley Stewart. Um, I'm born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. I'm an entrepreneur by heart. When I was 12 years old, I started selling dandelions and roses to my neighbors. And we had an apple tree in the backyard, so I started selling apples for 25 cents. I never felt like Detroit was all bad because it's all about opportunity and who you are and how you're raised. Some people are born with it, but when you're born with it, you don't quit. For some people who go to school for it and say, man, this is not me, then they maybe quit. But for somebody who's just starting out, they just got to find a niche. See what they like to do, see what product or service they want to, you know, serve to the community and just do it. And after that, it all comes naturally. Because right now I can fall zero dollars in an account. What I know now, I can build it right back up. It's all about being your own boss, uh, not having to go in and clock in, and besides, I don't want to do anything that I don't love doing. But just going in and clocking in and doing something that I don't like to do is kind of drainful and sometimes it hurts at heart. You just have to do what you got to do until things go forward for you. Guys, this here is my baby. This is Ashberry Soft, organic paper, 500 sheets, two ply. With this, this is straight from the tree, it's virgin pulp. You have to clean with hydrogen peroxide. So when you clean with that, it's like less harmful to your body, especially for women, because we use more toilet paper than men. And it was kind of hard to convince individuals to go this route instead of this route. And for a year now, people are actually warming up to Ashberry Saw. Well, most of the companies actually go to China. And what they do is bring it back here and they relabel it. For me, I'm an honest individual, so I'm not going to relabel anything. I'm going to let you know where it's coming from, how is it being cleaned, and what's it being wrapped in. I work while I'm at work. I go in the office, make some facts, make some emails, <laughs> but you're not supposed to. But you gotta do what you gotta do. When I'm on break, I'm on my laptop, emailing, researching, sending out thank yous for people who ordered online. It's a challenge, and I like a challenge. You know, people think because you're out here hustling, they think you got about a million dollars tucked away in this tank. No, 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 that is not true. We, as an entrepreneur, invest that same money we made right back into the company. So it's like you never see it until you actually create like a, you know, a foundation. So when, when you see me sitting in the bed making this video about thank you guys, then that's how you know I made it. <laughs> until then, you're going to see me out here sweating at the eyebrow. I'm going to be working. I mean, whoever said being an entrepreneur is easy, they're wrong. Because you got to find money. You got to just keep going and keep branding and keep transitioning, keep going, keep revolving. The hustles, hustle, hustles. Detroit is not new. I mean, the new hustle, maybe we got a lot of more entrepreneurs coming in and they are new to the Detroit hustle. People are like quiet storms. Like, there's a lot of people out there doing their thing, 